In this week's video, I wanna help you to break the cycle of laziness so you can go out, get the things you want and reach your full potential. Let's make a start. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Philip and in this week's video, I'm gonna help you to break that cycle of laziness dictating how you live your life. Remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here and you wanna see weekly videos helping you to become the best version of yourself, click that subscribe button. Step number one is to be conscious of the decisions that you're making. Laziness stems from the past. It stems from decisions that you've made to put things off, to stop doing something that fills you with anxiety or pressure. And over time, those decisions all mount up. And all of a sudden, those decisions that you're making become a part of your character, become a part of who you are. And you don't even realize you're doing it. It's almost an unconscious way of living. Just to stop doing the things that fill you with anxiety, stop doing the things that fill you with stress. Because you think to yourself, I'll do them later. So by watching this video, what you're doing is starting to break that cycle. You're starting to acknowledge that there's something wrong and acknowledge that you're making these decisions and these choices without even realizing it. Step number two is to take that decision or choice to be lazy away. And something that I found has helped many of my clients is something that I call the sock technique. When you see a dirty sock on the floor, something that you usually walk over and not pick up, you've got to go back a step and you've got to realize that you've got to pick it up. And this can be put onto any situation. When you see something or think of something or know something that needs doing, you can't put it off. You've got to do it there and then. No ifs, no buts. If you see it, Think about it or know it's there, you've got to go and do it. Whether it's picking up a sock, doing the washing up, putting the washing on, doing that homework. Essentially, being lazy is a habit. And that habit has been broadcast onto every situation in your life. So what we're gonna to start to do with these two points is to break that habit and form a new habit. A habit which means you're not gonna be able to put anything off. You're gonna enjoy doing the things you know you should be doing right now. And step number three is gonna help you to reinforce that new habit. Do you notice that you never put off the things that you enjoy? You never put off watching that TV show, going on Facebook, playing that computer game. Well, you always put off the things that fill you with anxiety, with dread. So what we need to do is to start to see those things that you've been putting off in the same way that you see something that you enjoy. Rather than being daunted and scared to start, focus on the excitement and joy of finishing them. Step number four is to realize that you're gonna enjoy your life even more when you've finished doing the things that you've been putting off for so long. Because all those things have been in the back of your mind and you've been thinking about them when you're enjoying yourself, watching that TV show, playing that computer game, even sleeping, or rather not sleeping because you're so worried about that thing that you know you should be doing. So if you start clearing the things you've been procrastinating on, the things that you haven't been doing, the things that have been making you lazy, it's gonna enable you to enjoy your day-to-day -day life. Your day-to-day -day life without having that fear, dread, anxiety in the back of your mind that that laziness is perpetually making you feel. Laziness has done a really good job of protecting you for so long. It stopped you from feeling that fear, dread, and anxiety of having to start something, potentially fail at it, start something it would be hard work. So instead, you're lazy, you do something else, anything else, to quell that anxiety. So laziness is a habit, but it's also a state of mind, and if you're not careful, that state of mind is gonna become a part of your identity. You're gonna be making choices that you don't even realize you're making based on that lazy point of view. If you follow the steps I've outlined, you can take back control of your life so that you don't feel lazy anymore, and in fact, you feel empowered to go out and do the things that you know you should be doing and once they're done, you could sit back and relax and enjoy your time spent doing the things that you want to do without that lingering anxiety and fear of all the stuff that you've been putting off. Remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to see weekly videos helping you to become the best version of yourself. I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.